In this lesson we do some work on length conversions. Now the base unit for length is the meter. And some of the things we need to know off by heart, one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters, and one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. The word kilo comes up a bit. It means a thousand. So a kilometer means a thousand meters. The word milli you might see is one thousandth. So the word millimeter means a thousandth of a meter. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to complete the conversions. The first one, seven kilometers equals how many meters? Now some of these you'll know very easily. You'll just know the answer without thinking too much about it. But I'm going to go through the technique because we sometimes will get some harder numbers to deal with. So, a couple of things. If we change a bigger unit to a smaller one, we multiply. And the reverse, if we're changing from a smaller unit to a bigger one, we divide. So in this case, we're changing kilometers to meters, and we know that a thousand meters make up one kilometer, so we're dealing with a factor of a thousand. We're also going from kilometers to meters. In other words, we're going from a bigger one to a smaller unit. So that's why we multiply by a thousand. So seven times a thousand is seven thousand. So we know that seven kilometers equals seven thousand meters. Again, you may just know that, and that's fine if you do. The next one, 5.6 meters equals how many centimeters? Well, we're changing meters to centimeters. The connection up there, we know that a hundred centimeters equals one meter. So we're dealing with a factor of a hundred. Just got to decide whether we're going to multiply or divide. We're changing meters to centimeters. So meters is bigger than centimeters, so we're going from big to small. So we multiply by that hundred. Now 5.6 times 100, if you remember your decimal point work, we move the point two times to the right, we would get 560 as our answer. The next one, 4.3 centimetres equals how many millimetres? Well, we're changing centimetres to millimetres. The connection between the two is 10 millimetres to make up a centimetre. So we're dealing with a factor of 10. We're also changing from centimetres to millimetres. We're changing something that's bigger to something that's smaller in terms of units. So we multiply. We multiply by that 10. And 4.3 times 10, okay, we just move the decimal point in one place, we would get 43. 0 0.95 metres equals how many millimetres? Well, metres to millimetres, what's the connection? Well, on our table, we know a connection between metres and centimetres, and then we know a connection between centimetres and millimetres, okay? But looks like we're going to take two steps for this one. So let's go from metres, let's change it to centimetres, because we know that step. And the way we do that is we times by 100, we've seen that. So 0 0.95 times 100 equals 95. So at the moment, we're up to 95 centimetres. We then need to change centimetres to millimetres. So the connection there, 10 millimetres make up a centimetre, and changing from centimetres to millimetres, we times by that 10. So 95 times 10 is 950.